college students today are living through an extraordinary time. They are all being impacted directly and indirectly by a global pandemic that most of us could not have imagined happening. Every new cycle of every day, we are confronted by the ongoing trauma that surrounds us. We're still waiting to see the outcome and given the many variables at play, at the very least, this is a time of great uncertainty. Humans struggle with uncertainty as our brains are hardwired to find answers and resolve the unknowns. It is understandable that our discomfort with these uncertainties may lead to an increase in overall stress and anxiety. This is natural and it is normal. However, the uncertainty and trauma of this time are having a dramatic impact on college students in particular. An April survey by Active Minds of over 2,000 college students regarding the impact of COVID-19 on their mental health found 80% reporting it had negatively impacted them, and 20% of college students saying that their mental health had significantly worsened. Over 90% reported having stress and anxiety, with 81% reporting sadness and 80% indicating feelings of isolation and loneliness. In addition, basic self-care, such as maintaining a routine, was challenging for students. Getting enough physical activity was a struggle for over 70% of the college students in the survey, with over 50% reporting difficulties with staying connected, eating well, and getting enough sleep. Sadly, more than half of the students said that they would not know where to go if they or someone else they knew needed professional mental health services right away. That's one of the reasons we are offering this information, so that you know there are resources on campus that are easily accessed virtually to help with all of these concerns. Fortunately, despite the traumatic realities of COVID-19, 79% of college students feel hopeful about achieving their school-related goals and their future job prospects. The most vulnerable individuals at this time are those with pre-existing mental health concerns, such as anxiety and past trauma experiences. Uncertainty trauma has been found to be a risk factor that may contribute to and help maintain post-traumatic stress disorder symptoms. Recovery from trauma is contextual, which implies a need to expand one's social circle by creating new connections at a time when we must social distance and limit outside contact. The challenges for college students are great, requiring courage and creativity to consider how to empower themselves and others. We encourage you to consider how to keep yourself safe through the self-care activities that will be discussed and that include making connections with those you love and with those in need. We hope that taking time to focus on what we are learning about ourselves and the world around us can lead to greater resilience going forward that may help in facing future challenges in life. International students may start their journey of study abroad with excitement and optimism for their future. They are often resourceful and have a lot of strength, while also encountering many challenges, both explicit and implicit. The current COVID-19 pandemic has brought all of us challenges, and the international student status has added extra layers to that. From the worries of one's own and one's family's health, the physical limitations of traveling and limited social interactions, xenophobia, microaggressions, and financial challenges, to the most recent threat of having to return to their home countries. The uncertainty around the future and the possibility of losing resources which have been invested can create a lot of stress for international students. Since the main reason for most international students to study abroad is the pursuit of higher education, being a student is often one of the most significant identities for them. Hence, any obstacles or setback to their academic progress may be considered a serious threat 
to their identity as a student and may lead to stress, anxiety, and even symptoms of trauma. Reaffirming the identities that are important and meaningful to us can be helpful. You are still the person with hopes for a better future who has devoted your resources to taking the risk of traveling to a foreign land, living independently, and challenging yourself intellectually through working on broadening and deepening your knowledge. The next step is to acknowledge how difficult the situation really is when it is out of our control. Please remember, each individual has a different stress tolerance in uncertain situations, and we all cope differently. It is important to remember to have compassion for ourselves. Try shifting focus from what we don't have control over to what we can choose to act upon. Ask ourselves, what will I do if, instead of what if? It is still a good idea to set goals and to remind ourselves these are aspirations, not expectations. Develop routines and schedule self-care time such as exercise or mindfulness meditation practice that can help us increase strength and flexibility to manage stress better. Although we may be physically distancing, it doesn't mean we need to be emotionally distancing. Try reaching out to friends and family, scheduling screen time to talk and connect, and express care for each other. Receiving and offering support to each other will help us combat feelings of isolation and have some fun. So far we've talked a little about what trauma looks like and why it might be more relevant to you than ever. Now that we have a little more understanding of what's going on, let's discuss what we can do about it. First and foremost, practice self-compassion. When we are in an unfamiliar situation and are uncertain of how or why we are experiencing certain thoughts, feelings, and behaviors, it can be easy to rush to judgment and be hard on ourselves. Try to recognize when you are doing this and gently remind yourself this is new and stressful. It's okay that I'm feeling what I'm feeling. Try not to lose sight of the fact that a pandemic is a novel situation for nearly everyone and it is incredibly stressful for many good reasons. Next, draw on your resources. This can mean tapping into supportive relationships, engaging in an activity that brings you joy or relaxation, or relying on coping skills you already have. It can be tough to remember in a moment of distress what you can do to feel better. When you have a moment, take some time to write down all the different things that have helped you in stressful or distressing situations before. Keep that list close or memorize it so it can be easier to recall when you need it. Keep in mind that coping with something isn't always about returning to your usual normal. It can be enough just to find a bit of relief in the moment. It's natural for our thoughts and feelings to ebb and flow. Again, you are likely experiencing many new and challenging situations. This could call for finding new and creative ways of coping and managing. When tapping into new skills, keep in mind that coping comes in many general forms, including, but not limited to, distraction, tapping into your five senses, releasing your emotions, challenging your thinking, and giving back to the world around you. There are likely infinite examples of coping behaviors, so keep in mind that you want to aim for those that have far more benefit than cost and keep you and others safe. Caring for ourselves can be difficult and overwhelming, whether or not we are in the midst of a pandemic. If you are feeling too overwhelmed to tap into the skills we've discussed, try narrowing your focus to just your most basic needs. Do you feel physically safe? Have you eaten lately? Is it time for a drink of water? Have you rested? Are you breathing deeply enough to get oxygen through your body? A pause to check in with your body's needs is never a wasted moment. 
If you could benefit from additional support related to your experiences of the uncertainty around COVID-19, you have resources available to you. During the time of the pandemic, the Counseling Center is providing services via teletherapy. Counseling Center services include time-limited individual therapy to students at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. Our long-term option includes group therapy, where students can meet with Counseling Center staff and other students around a common goal or concern. We also offer crisis services during our open hours if students have an urgent need. The Counseling Center also assists students in getting connected to providers in the community if long-term individual therapy feels like a better fit for you. If you are interested in participating in individual therapy or group, please feel free to call the Counseling Center or visit our website for more information. If neither of these options feels like a good fit for you, the Counseling Center also offers workshops that focus on various areas of mental health. If you're interested in these workshops, look at our website or social media for more information. There are a lot of other great resources available to the students at the University of Illinois. Check out these offices for more information on the services they provide.